Hello everyone, I'm Black Marvin, a progressive psychedelic trance artist, a professional sound designer, and also a teacher for electronic music production. Today, we're going to take a look at Polymorph for Spire, which is 100 Psytrance preset for Spire. In this video, I'm going to give you a couple of tips how to really get most out of this pack. And I'm also going to do an overview of the content of the pack. If you want to check out the pack, the link will be in the description. It's on the Fractal Sound store. And if you want more content about sound design, Spire, Psytrance, all those cool keywords, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more content. And now let's dive into Polymorph for Spire. So we are inside Polymorph for Spire, which is 100 Psytrance presets for Spire. First, let's have an overview of the pack. There's 10 acid sounds, there's seven Psytrance basses. And there's some saw bass, there's some square bass, but all the saw bass, uh, they have a different approach in terms of filtering. They look alike, of course, because, you know, they are Psytrance bass and they look alike, but they have small variations. And, you know, we kind of take uh, advantage of all the crazy filters, like crazy good filters that Spire offers. So, you know, it's, it's a different takes on the Psytrance bass. Uh, there's some FM sounds. Uh, so those, it's really based on FM sounding. You know, the building blocks are FM. There's also 30 Psytrance leads. We're going to look at them in a very specific way a bit later. Now, there's also five melodic sequence. You know, there's a bunch of sequence, but also five sequence that are specifically a bit inclined toward like melodic component. It's always fun. And, you know, it's even in Psytrance uh, full on, sometimes it's great to have just a bunch of melodic elements at end there's also five pads there's seven plucks there's 15 sequences and that's one of um spire's strength definitely the sequencing the arpeggiator uh so we did take advantage of that with 15 psytrance sequence there's five synths and there's 10 zaps we're going to look at these categories a bit more specifically soon before we dive deeper into the sound section specifically, I want to give a, just a couple of tips in regards to how the pack has been built. First, if you look at the macros, there's a logic behind that. Most of the time, the first macro is a macro that is going to articulate the preset. Um, most of the time, it's the filter, uh, and sometimes there's also other elements to it, but it's the definitely the macro that's going to give you the most control on the presets. So, for example, if we take a look at this sound. So, this one has some filter action built in. The preset in and of itself moves its filter, but you also get a bit more control over that with macro 1. Now, macro 2. It's not the case for exactly all the presets, but most of the time it's going to give you also some kind of an alternate version of the preset or a direct change on the sound. So you can see, for example, in this preset, uh, the macro 2 will control the control B of oscillator 1. So that's actually changing like this, the sound. So you get access to that with the second macro. And, you know, it's very similar principle for all the other presets. It changes the sound, some kind of an, just an alternative available to you. And now macro 3 and 4 are usually some kind of uh, dry, wet stuff. Uh, most of the time, it's going to give you a lot of amplitude in terms of either reverb, delay, or also sometimes on the detune. So they are more harsher. They are more intense uh, kind of macro but it could be uh, very well used for fills or if you want to punch in special moments with this preset, it's good. For example, we're still in this same preset, which is Lead Amazonia. And this macro tree really triggers some heavy phaser. And macro four is some heavy chorus. So like I said, three and four more in terms of dry, wet, spatialization kind of stuff. So that was for the macros. Now I have another tips in regards to this preset pack. 
is um, there's the effects function inside Spire. They are fixed in a sense that, um, you know, it's this chain. We cannot change it. There's a shaper, the phaser, chorus, delay, and reverb. Um, the philosophy behind the pack is to provide the presets built into the max. So all the effects are included and set up properly. But what you can do, and most of the time, even myself, when I use presets from Spire or just some other synths, I really enjoy, maybe I'm a control freak, but I really enjoy having control over the delay with, uh, and also the reverb. But I like to have my own third-party plugins for that. Well, just listen at the delay right now, how it sounds. <laughs> So the delay is, it, it might fit your track, it might fit the vibe you're looking for, like out of the bat. But what you can do is hit that function here, which is mute. If you go right under delay, it's going to mute all the delay inside the preset. So it's dry in terms of delay, and there's a bit of reverb. And let's say, same thing, we want to really like have our own third-party plugins managing that. We can hit mute on reverb. And now we can, you know, use our own plugins and set it up like we like it. Now, another tip in that sense, I did pick another preset. Now it's uh, Acid Anuvo. I picked this one because this one had some distortion built in. So similar to the delay and reverb, uh, you can mute the distortion. So first I'm going to play the preset with the distortion. But if you want, you can go right here and mute the shaper because the shaper is the distortion inside Spire. So by doing that, now it's less fuzzy and we get a bit of a more pure acid sound. And we can go and use a third party plugin uh, for distortion. This is Fatuator by Kilohertz and I'm going to drive a lot of saturation into it. So by doing that, we brought the preset elsewhere in a couple of clicks. Um, and sometimes, you know, putting distortion on top of distortion and on top of distortion, it's going to damage the sound. So it's better if you mute the shaper. Those are just some you know little tips uh quick easy tips if you want to not you know just do the whole preset over but if you want to get more out of these presets easily how that you know how to get the most out of these presets let's uh check each section a bit deeper first the acid section there's 10 acid sounds and ears how they sound Another tip here, you'll notice also that there's some uh, macros that are going to be active when you open up a preset. That's on purpose. That's not a mistake. Uh, it's sometimes it's adding something to the sound. but um, And I felt like the sound was better when we add that to the sound, but also gave you the option to either take this out or keep it. But since it's open, it's because I felt it was, you know, I preferred it that way. But you have, you know, you're your own hero. You can choose if you like it or not. Ring of Fire. Soft Vowels.
soul juice. This one has a really old school TB vibes. Now for the basses, I prepared just a very simple Cytrans pattern. Um, if you want to check these out in action, uh, there's a stream on my channel that I already did. I'm going to put the link in the description, but there's a stream where I produce um, a track and there's like the bass being used in context. So if you want to know more about that, you can check that. The link is in the description. But I'm going to just go through them in a very classic fashion. So you can hear it's always this Cytrans bass, but there's some variations in it. Um, so you can choose the color you prefer and that, you know, the bass that's going to give you the best uh, fit, harmonious fit with your the kick you're currently using or the style you want to do. So the FM sounds. So this one, you can see that there's also the delay being used for some glitch purposes so you can either keep that on or again you know use your own it's crispy laser line unhinged Lysergic slices. Unhinged. I realized I tend to play notes fairly low, but that's just me. Now, time for the leads. You'll see that there's a lot of leads. 30, I'm not going to go through all of them. But I'm going to go through a couple of these and you'll you'll see that there's really different approach for leads, more full on stuff, more prog stuff, uh, but it's quite complete. There's a lot there. There's uh, Azernia. Convulsion. Divinatory Bone. Exospiral. Flexor. I can't even. This one is almost a grid type, like almost percussive kind of lead. Kill switch. Liquid Chaos. There's Lysergia Fuel. Another tip for this preset pack, and I'd say this one is valuable for also other, uh, even VSTs, it's the similar situation inside Pigments. In the RPG editor here, there's a swing function. So if you're finding yourself... Um, you know, just finding that there's too much swing in the preset, which can be the case because it, you know, swing is just different grooves. So sometimes you want something a bit swingy, other times you want something a bit square. Um, so you can modify the swing here. So usually, like zero is the position where there's no swing. And initially, the position was there. So you can adjust that to your taste. For example, in this preset, that would sound like this. It's quite subtle, but you know, it's it's again, it's a way to interact with the preset pack uh, if you're just you know beginning to dive a bit into Spire. So these are like checkpoints you can 
go and interact a bit with the sound. There's nucleism. There's Zeppelin. Now the melodic sequence. There's some pads. The pads are great layers in and of themselves. They can also be used as atmosphere. There are some plucks. Always useful to have some spiky plucks in a pack. Now, another strong point of the pack, I'd say leads, sequences, you know, it's acid also. It's really taking advantage of like the thick sounds of Spire and like the filters that has a lot of character. Um, so yeah, let's check out the sequence. That's Acid Coaster, now Arbora. There's Barker. Crystal Ladder. Edgy Roll. Five galaxies. Uh, again, this one, I think you can hear that the delay sort of punches in and out uh, to create a bit more texture. We can always uh, either keep it or mute it and add your own. And you'll get, since this one is acting a bit of a, as a texture effect, You'll get a cleaner signal if you remove the delay, but it's also really cool, I think, with the delay. Like I said, the presets are like built to the max and you can kind of, you know, remove a bit of stuff and put your own if you want to. That was Pillars of Sanity. Now it's Pura Noctis. Now, Raven. And if we play a bit lower. Yeah, this one's, it's thick. Spiritual coil. Yes, that makes sense. Now, Cytral. Uh, 
there's a lot of really nice, um, what I call climbing sequence for progressive psychedelic trends or full on too, but some, some, some kind of sequence that you can have and that's catchy, that's groovy, and you can build on that in a track. Uh, upward current. UV lights. Void Rider. There's also five synths in order to, you know, it's, it's always useful to have synths. Um, they can act more as uh, less noisy leads or less abstract leads. It's like the opposite of abstract. It's like more tonal stuff. There's lucidity here. Okay, well, this one is very textury and a bit abstract, but still sounds good. Rigidity. Sylvania. There's transistor. So these are more tonal elements. Now, finally, last but not least, the zaps. It's always good to have some zaps are basically there are synths but that are evolving sort of stretching and uh there's often some kind of filter sweep built in it or and or i would say also some pitch slides up and downs you'll see that was iowa that's Alienor. There's Error 404. There's Jade Flares. Milligrams. Pixeloid. Prior. So you can see I have like easy access to the filter sweep in this one. So just automate that or do whatever you want with it. We have a lot of control on this one. Psychic. The downfall. And finally, Venom. And that's it for this video. You know, Spire is definitely on the list of the underrated synths for me. And the list is long and there's a lot of these synths that end up, you know, on this channel. I like to talk about these synths that it's not that it's not known or anything, but it should be just, it should have a bigger reach with the, the quality of this synth because it sounds thick. The filters have a lot of character. So yeah, it felt right to uh, make a preset pack for this one. If you need help becoming a better sound designer or if you need help with mixing and mastering, I have a community of students and there's a lot of educational content. Also one-to-one -one mentoring in regards to uh, these topics and more. If you're interested, come have a chat on Instagram and we can discuss about how we can help you. 
And that's it for this video. I'm going to see you in another video. Happy producing.